Shamai! Welcome to the final lesson in my little series aimed at beginner ukulele players. So this is lesson five. Now in theory, if you've done lessons one to four, you should be able to play what I've just played in the intro. Because everything in that we've already covered. So what have we looked at? We've looked at some easy chords, the C, the F, the A minor and the G7 chords. We've done some easy strumming patterns using down and ups. We've looked at the island strum and lesson three, I think it was, we had a little look at the swing strum as well. So why is this the final lesson? Don't worry, I will be making more lessons, um, but these are the ones aimed at absolute beginners. Now in school at this point, we'd look at a few more quite basic chords and I'd introduce the G chord um, and then loads of play along songs just to get used to all the new chords. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in lesson five. I'll go through some of the chords. Most of them are really simple and straightforward, um, but it does mean suddenly we can play loads more songs. And that's where the ukuleleans comes in, the play along videos. Okay, they really do help to learn and they're great fun as well. I have actually tidied up the Ukuleleans channel a little bit recently. So I've added some new playlists, starting from absolute beginners, where to start, and then going through easy, medium, and hard, okay? So once we've had a little look at the new chords today, pop over there, go on to the easy playlists, um, and I'm sure you're gonna find loads of new songs to play. So what are these basic new chords that I mentioned a moment ago? Okay, um, I'll run through them first of all, show you how to play them, and then we'll take a look at a few songs. So the first one, really nice simple one, it's a one finger chord, and it's our A7, okay? Now, you put your first finger, first fret, on the C string. Remember the names of the strings, goat, can, eat, anything. So first finger on the C string. There we go. I'll come in a little bit closer. All right. So first finger, C string, first fret. There's our A7. Then the next one. Oh, remember as well, don't worry about the number. Okay, just know that the A7 is a different chord to an A or an A minor, all right? Don't worry about all the theory side of things for now, okay? So the next chord we're gonna look at is another one finger chord and it's called C7, all right? First fret on the A string, play it with your first finger, okay? I'll come in a bit closer. So there we go, first fret on the A string, C7. Now while I'm here, if I push my first finger up one more fret, okay, or put your second finger on it, doesn't matter as long as you play in second fret on the A string, we call that one a C major seven. Okay, now, that actually sounds a lot scarier than it is to play, okay? And again, like the seven, don't worry about the major, C major seven is just different to C, C major seven, C seven, okay? Nice and easy. So the next new chord, these ones are two finger chords. The first one is just A, all right, so it's first finger, first fret on the C string, second finger, second fret on the G string. Okay, there's our A. I'll come in a bit closer. So first finger, first fret on the C string, second finger, second fret on the G string. 
All right, there's A. And then another really handy chord to know is our D7 chord. Now, there are actually a couple of variations of this. We are going to learn the easier, simpler version of it, which is called the D7 Hawaiian. Okay? And the way we play this is second fret on the G string and second fret on the E string. And it'll sound. All right? Now, you can put your first finger on it and your second finger and play it like that. Or you can put your second finger and your third finger or your ring finger and play it that way. All right, I'll come in a little bit closer to show you. Okay, so second fret on the G string, second fret on the E string. Now I actually find it a bit easier to sort of swivel my hand around at this point. And if you notice, my thumb has come round the neck a little bit and then I can sort of hook in there. All right, so that's our D7 chord. Okay. Now, it's quite apt because we call that the 2020 chord. And of course, what year are we in at the minute? All right, so D7 Hawaiian, the simple version. Right, so the last two new chords we're going to look at. Um, these are three finger chords. Okay. The first one is actually quite simple. It's the D minor chord and should sound, remember minor, sad, okay? D minor. Now, how do we play that? We put our first finger, first fret, on the E string. Now imagine you're playing the F chord. So you're gonna put your middle finger onto your G string, second fret, and then you're gonna tuck your ring finger in second fret on the C string and it should sound okay I'll come in a little bit closer for that so first finger first fret on the E string then go to play an F so you're going to put your second finger second fret on the G string then you're going to tuck your ring finger in second fret on the C string all right and of course it sounds all sad. Now a great way of practicing this chord is to play your F and then tuck your third finger down. So F and then third finger down. F, D minor. Okay. So the G chord. Okay, this is probably the trickiest one at these new chords we're going to look at. Um, right, how do we play it? We put our first finger, second fret on the C string. We put our second finger, second fret on the A string. And then our third finger, or our ring finger, goes on to the third fret on the E string. And it should sound like this. It's a lovely, bright sounding chord. Okay, now remember we've already learnt the G7. This is G, our G7, it sounds very similar, just a little bit different, okay? You do need to learn the G chord, but remember, if you are playing songs and you're really stuck and you really desperately want to play that song, sometimes you can get away with putting the G7 in, all right? So, how do we play it closer? Okay, we put our first finger, second fret on the C string, second finger, second fret on the A string, and then our ring finger goes on to the E string, third fret. There we go. The G chord. Ah, don't go freaking out at this point. I know that was a lot of information then, okay? Don't panic. Take one chord at a time, go and use the play alongs, practice them slowly, all right? I've just given you a lot of information there. Some of the chords you'll be able to get straight away. Some of them will need a little bit of practice, but don't panic, you will get there. 
Okay, so we'll take a little look at a few songs now, like we've done in previous lessons, and I'll direct you over to the ukuleleans for the play-alongs. Now, I'm only going to play a little bit of each song just to give you an idea. The play-along videos are there to help you. Now, I hope that's where I differ from some of the other YouTube teachers in that there's this huge resource, all right? Ukulele play-along videos. I've done a stack of them. Um, there's a database, I'll pop a link in the description below, that Chris Russell has put together. At the minute, it's got over a thousand ukulele play-along videos on there, okay? We are doing these to help you learn, all right? And they really are great fun. So once I've gone through the song, go and check out the play-along. Don't worry, be happy. I love this song, you can't play it without smiling. Now then, this is a song we learned for D minor. Um, remember, it's quite similar to an F, which works out brilliantly because the chords in this song are C, F and D minor, something like this. Okay, this has got two of our new chords in it. We've got an A7 and a D7. All right, remember it's the Hawaiian D7, the simplified version. And the other chord is a G7 in it, okay? It's still nice and straightforward. I am no James Brown, I'll give it a go. All right, so, wow, I feel good. along video. Oh, I do love that song though. Okay, so the next song we're going to take a little look at is a really popular song on the ukulele. It's I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. Now, I think this is actually our second most popular play along video over on the ukuleleans. All right, so the five chords it uses, it's a C chord, a G, the new G chord, a minor, F, and then there are just a couple of D7s. Remember the Hawaiian D7 chord, okay? Now in school, we actually use a chuck or a chunk strum pattern. I'm going to do a tutorial on that very soon. For today, I'm just gonna show you a nice plain island strum, all right? And there is actually the play along and a tutorial to go with this play along. I'll pop the links in the description below. All right, so I'm yours. Intro. So you're doing two on each chord. tutorial. Okay, so this is going to be the last song that we take a little look at now. 
Wonderful World by Sam Cooke. It's got six chords, A minor, C, D7, Hawaiian, F, our new G chord and a G7 chord, okay? Like I'm yours, we tend to put a bit of a chuck for a chunk strap on, at strum on it. For now, I'll just do a normal straight island strum, okay? So introduction, nice and light. pop a G7 in, okay, but it is a great one for practicing your chord changes. There are a few songs that I should mention which will help you learn the new chords that we haven't managed to cover in this lesson. Uh, Riptide, All I Want, uh, Another Brick in the Wall, a bit of Pink Floyd, uh, Teenage Kicks, Walking on Sunshine, Billie Eilish's I Love You, uh, Down Under by Men at Work, alright? Go and check out the playlongs for those as well. I will pop links in the description. They will help you practice and learn our new chords. I do hope you've enjoyed this sort of little mini series of videos for absolute beginners, alright? I have tried to keep them as simple as possible. If you've got a question or a comment, leave it below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. And as always, thank you for watching.